Good morning, afternoon, or evening, y'all. Today we are starting a reading vlog. I just finished a book last night. I think it was called Truth Game by Chloe Walsh. It's in the Ocean Bay series. I have mixed feelings about it. I will go into depth later, but I just finished filming a video uh, touring that bookshelf back there, so I'm probably going to edit that for a while, and then... I would like to continue either reading or the audiobook I started yesterday. I started the Crazy Stupid Romance audiobook yesterday. I'm enjoying it so far. The only qualm I have with those audiobooks for that series is that they never use a woman and a man despite it being like a dual point of view kind of thing. So we just get a man impersonating a woman's voice and sometimes it throws me off a little bit. But I am enjoying it and then I might start Wild Love by Elsie Silver on Kindle Unlimited but I'm not sure. I will let you guys know when I'm about to start reading. Hey y'all, I just uh, wanted to give you guys a quick update. It is later in the day. I'm just about to start an audiobook because I decided I didn't really want to listen to the Crazy Stupid Bromance audiobook just because of the whole male voice thing and I decided I wanted to listen to A Good Girl's Dead to Murder that is on my September TBR so it'll be knocking it out of the way and I need to get some stuff done in the kitchen. I've been severely neglecting my household and just like keeping the house clean because on Monday actually my dog, one second, he's right here. My dog Reese had his first dose of his heartworm treatment and for anyone that's going to be like heartworm is so preventable yada 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 it is not our fault he had heartworms when we adopted him we knew this going into it but he did just have his first treatment and so he is on sedatives and all this stuff so I've just been taking care of him and just cuddling him most of the time the past couple days but I really need to get this stuff done so I'm going to uh, turn on the audiobook and I will talk to you guys when I have an update about the book or whatever. Hey y'all I um wanted to give you guys an update. It is currently about 11 30 at night I am about 32, I think, percent of the way through A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I'm very much enjoying it. I did watch the show before I started reading this, and I'm honestly shocked at the amount of changes that they made to the show from the book so far, but I am really enjoying it, and tomorrow was a very busy day for me. So I will likely be finishing this then while like I'm just doing stuff throughout the day. But I will talk to you guys bright and early tomorrow once I have started listening again. Hey guys, it is the next morning. It is just about, well, it's actually afternoon now. It's exactly noon. I have had a very productive morning. I just got back from getting groceries and I unloaded all of them and everything. And now I am on my way to go cut grass at a family member's house because they're not there right now. And then I have a couple errands to run, but I have been listening to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder throughout all of this. And I think I'm like 65, 70% of the way through. And it's getting so good. I mean, obviously, I already know what's going to happen because, as I said yesterday, I've watched the show. But it's just so good. And, again, I'm noticing all of the little, like, intricacies and things that they changed and stuff like that. And I'm just literally loving it so, so much. And I definitely like the way that they have multiple voice actors. I always love that in, a, in an audiobook. But I'm going to keep going throughout my day. And when I touch base with you guys again, it is, I don't want to say probable, but it is definitely possible that I will have finished the audiobook by then. So I will talk to you guys in a bit. Hey y'all. Um, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I 
finished the audiobook for good girl sketch murder i really really enjoyed it i don't want to describe any thriller as cute but it was a good mystery and i really enjoyed it i don't think i'm going to be diving immediately into good girl bad blood just because i just don't really have the hankering to right now um plus i'm all out of hours of listening on spotify so i might try to put a hold on it um on the library app but other than that um i won't be reading that in the near future but i decided to buy the last book in the ocean bay series by chloe walsh just because i'm invested at this point and i really want to know what happens i will talk about it more in my reading wrap up for this month but i definitely did not like at all how the second book in the series ended the dynamic between these two characters in the third book remind me a lot of claire and gibsey from the boys of Toman series which is her most popular series and a series i like absolutely adore it is probably my second favorite series of all time i'm going to get to reading on this because i don't have much else to do today and i will talk to you guys if i have an update good morning y'all it is the next morning because i accidentally fell asleep while reading because i was so tired i got to about 50 percent of the way through truth game and i am really enjoying it right now it's still just about like a three stars for me but it is still good all of the same and i'm invested into finding out what the secret is um that he's keeping from her i have a lot to do today like cleaning around the house because my husband gets home from his base later tonight and so i want to make sure the house is like all nice and stuff but i am going to be starting oh what's it called i don't know if it's mixed signals or the other one but i'm going to be listening to the second book in the love light farms series because i saw that a new one is out and it sounds really good so i want to read the other ones i just don't think i'm gonna read the actual love light farms book because i don't really like christmas romances and i know that's what that is so i'm gonna get started with my day and listening to that and I will talk to you guys when I have an update. Hey y'all, sorry if you can hear the AC. It is simply too warm in here to not have it on. Um, I just wanted to give you guys an update. It is now 1230. I don't know how far I am into in the weeds, but it's not that far because my husband ended up calling me like right when I started it and we spoke for like an hour and a half but I am really enjoying it so far and I have always enjoyed the one night stand trope and it's small town as well. So I am really enjoying it, but I'm gonna get back to work. Oh, I forgot to say this. I also filmed a video this morning for my October TBR. That will definitely be up before this. So go check that video out if you haven't seen it already. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get back to cleaning there's a lot that needs to be done and i will talk to you guys in a bit hey y'all it is about 4 30 in the afternoon i am not done in the weeds yet i think i'm like 60 70 percent ish of the way through i'm really really enjoying it only thing my phone is so close to dying so i had to plug it in and i make a habit of not going on my phone when it's charging because i don't want to damage the battery so I'm going to be working on editing the video I filmed today for a little bit until my phone is fully charged and then I will get back to listening. But it's so good. It's a little longer for the romance to progress than I would have liked, but I am really enjoying it. And Beckett's um, social anxiety and everything was not expected to me really, but the whole scene... Uh, at trivia night I absolutely loved that um, just the way that she was there for him 
and the overstimulation and everything and I really enjoyed that but I'm going to work on this for a little bit and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hey y'all, it's later in the day. I think it's nine. Yeah, it's nine o'clock at night. I just finished In the Weeds. I, I'm not quite sure how I would rate it just yet. I did really enjoy it. Um, I think it's somewhere in the three to four range, but it kind of reminded me just a little bit too much of It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. Other than that, it was really, really good. I am still cleaning. I just took a break to like actually finish the book because I do own the physical copy as well. So I was actually reading for a little bit. But I think I'm either going to start the next book in the series, which is called Mixed Signals, or... I'm going to listen to YouTube while I continue to clean. I'm leaning more towards YouTube as of right now, but, and if that's the case, I don't think I'm going to talk to you guys again tonight, just because it's getting late, obviously, but I will either talk to you tomorrow or later tonight, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey y'all, I, um wanted to touch base with you guys it is actually the next day i didn't get to talk to you guys really at all yesterday because it was such a hectic day um one of my husband and my friends was having like an event last night because he was releasing this card game that he's been working on for forever and so we went to a party to celebrate it and we didn't get home till like 2 a.m. and we left our house at like 4 p.m. So like it was a very busy day. Um, however, I did finish Truth Game by Chloe Walsh while we were at the party. Um, just because I'm a very introverted person. And so while I did talk to people for some part of it, once it started to get to like 10, 11 o'clock, I was like tired. And so I just read on my Kindle app for a good bit. But I did enjoy it. I did not love it by any means. I will. I would never like bash Chloe Walsh just because she has written one of my favorite series ever. But I. I don't think it was. I don't think it was the best. Um, I will go more into that in my October reading wrap up, which is probably up right now. I'm pretty sure. And then yesterday and this morning as well it's now like 2 p.m i have gotten into like maybe half of mixed signals by bk borison on the audiobook i'm really really enjoying it i think caleb is an absolute sweetheart and i'm excited to see where it is going i think i'm just gonna listen to some youtube for a little bit just because I feel like I've been, like, making myself cram, almost, to get these books done before the month is over. Um, because tomorrow is the last day of September. Which is probably where this, uh, vlog will end. But, I don't know. I don't know. I think I, I really want to try to finish Mixed Signals by tomorrow. And then, I think I'm gonna start reading a book tonight. I honestly don't know what. Oh. If I'm being really honest, I really want to start reading one of the books on my October TBR. I don't know. I'm all in my head right now. I'm going to go and I'm probably going to listen to some YouTube, maybe some mixed signals, and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey y'all, it is the next day. I'm so sorry, I've been so uncommunicative with you guys. Um, last night, I like, I really didn't read much until the evening when I just started to read the physical copy of Mixed Signals because my husband fell asleep at like 7.30 and I didn't want to like turn the camera on and talk to you guys with him being asleep right next to me. So I just showed you guys that I was reading it um, but I'm doing some stuff around the house and I'm just listening to it and I will talk to you guys if I have an update. 
hey y'all um it's later in the day i think it's like 1 30 in the afternoon uh i just finished mixed signals it it's definitely definitely wasn't like life altering but like it was a cute romance um i don't think i'm going to continue the series right now at least i mean i'll probably finish it at some point but i want something that's kind of deeper right now um so i'm not quite sure what i'm going to read i'm um looking at my october tbr right now and i think i honestly might just start one of those books today because i mean it's the last day of september i just finished a book today and i don't really see myself reading like 300 pages to finish powerless today i just don't think that's in the cards for me i may start reading either the hating game or normal people because that's what is really drawing me right now um but i am gonna just chill for a little bit get some work done and i will talk to you guys in a bit hey y'all i just wanted to talk to you guys real quick i Obviously, it's the next day, if you didn't pick up on that. I, um, didn't really read much of anything last night after I finished, uh, Mixed Signals. And it is currently October 1st, and I'm so excited to start this month's TBR. I already have a couple of the books out on loan from the library app for the audiobook, because there are... It's a lot of, it's a lot of pages for my TBR this month. Um I'm definitely going to be reading A Court of Wings and Ruin in the physical copy. Definitely going to be reading Six of Crows in the physical copy. And I think I'm going to be re the only books I really think I could listen to on audiobook that I currently have on loan are The Dixon Rule, Hellbent by Lee Bardugo. Um and The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. Those are the books I currently have on loan in the audiobook form. Um, I would like to listen to Good Girl, Bad Blood if I had the option. I have it, I have a hold on it, but it's like a five week wait as of right now. So the odds that I get it before the month is up is not super likely. But yeah, I'm gonna edit the wrap up video I just filmed. And I will talk to you guys about what book I'm going to be starting. Hello, y'all. It is a little bit later. It's just about, I think, 3 o'clock. I just finished editing and uploading my video. Uh, go check it out if you haven't watched it yet. It's It should be my most recent video. Um, but I decided to start The Hating Game today just because... I'm like really really in the mood to read it right now so obviously strike while the iron's hot and everything but I'm gonna get started on this and I will talk to you guys in a bit. Hey y'all I just wanted to give you guys an update. I'm about 90 pages in and I am absolutely loving it. It was a little I don't know how to describe it but I've definitely gotten more into it as it's gone on. The banter is bantering. The elevator kiss was extraordinary. And now I just need to do some work. But then I'll be back to reading. Hey y'all. It is like 10.30 at night. Um, I didn't get too much farther in. I'm at page 145. I'm at the part where they are like in a cleaner's closet right now um i'm really really enjoying it the only thing that's kind of just like getting on my nerves a little bit is how much she mentions how small she is and it's getting on my nerves a little but that's the only thing um i did take a break to watch some tv eat dinner with my husband that kind of stuff but i am getting back into it now i will probably take my, my makeup off and do my skincare before I get back into reading, but I am going to start very shortly again. And I'll, knowing me, I probably won't 
give you guys an update before tomorrow. So I will likely talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey y'all, it is the next morning. It is just about 11.20 in the morning. I just literally just finished The Hating Game. I read it much faster than I thought I would. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed it. And while I do still think that that reading the book before watching the movie or show or whatever is better, I kind of struggle with picturing things in my head when I'm reading. So because I watched the movie and everything, I had like a visual in my head of the character when they were speaking rather than an indescript faceless silhouette kind of thing um while i do really really want to start another romance book i only have three more on my tbr for this entire month i'm sure i will end up reading more romance books than that but I definitely don't want to burn myself out on romance and then I'm just, I don't want to say stuck because I am really excited to get to all the books on my TBR this month. But then I will only have fantasy remaining on my TBR for this month and I don't want to do that. I'm stuck between a lot of options right now. You know what, I'm actually going to go ask my husband which one I should pick and I'll be back to let you guys know. Hey y'all, so it has been like almost two hours since we last spoke because I asked my husband and then I got sidetracked cleaning and cooking and all the things. But I do have his choice. I lined up either One Dark Window, A Court of Wings and Ruin, and Six of Crows for him. And originally he picked Aquawar because he was like, well I, I know you like that series in that book. And I was like, yeah I know, but I'm just reading it for Callie. I haven't read the other two. And I described them to him and previously back years ago when the first season of Shadow and Bone came out. I like we watched that together and so I was like this is about like the gang in that show and he was like oh read that. So he did end up picking Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I'm very intrigued and kind of nervous to get into this because I started it previously and it was just such a slow start that I got bored and stopped reading. Granted, I literally didn't even give it 50 pages, so I definitely can't judge it too harshly, but I'm very excited to finally get into it. I think it is the perfect time of year to read this and I'm not going to start it like right now just because I have some stuff I have to do. I will likely not start reading until like four around then probably, but I may listen to some of an audiobook between that time. Honestly, probably not, but just maybe. Also, I don't think I've said this yet. This is the last day of today's video. I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I started this vlog last Thursday and it is now Wednesday, so a full week of my reading habits and then I'll just start a new reading vlog tomorrow but I'm really hoping I will enjoy this. If you want to find out how I feel about it make sure to watch my next reading vlog that comes out because obviously it won't be in this unless I plan on finishing this tonight which I certainly certainly don't. I don't even think it's humanly possible for me because this book is like 500 pages and in order for me to read 500 pages it would take like 10 hours so actually i could accomplish it if i started right now and i didn't stop at all i would be able to get this done but life doesn't work that way anywho uh i'm gonna go get some stuff done i will probably start reading around four and once i have an update on how i'm liking it i will talk to you guys Hey guys, I just wanted to give you guys an update real quick. Um, I did start reading. I got like 40 pages in and then I was hit by like an intense wave of tiredness and I took a nap for an hour. Then 
my husband that came down and asked if I wanted to go to the movies and obviously I said yes because we literally love going to the movies we do it all the time and we saw the wild robot I think uh it's a dreamworks movie it was incredible like I cannot stress that enough my husband gave it like a mid nine out of ten which is a super high rating for him and it was just like outstanding all around i cried so many times there were so many on the nose jokes about motherhood and all that stuff and it was just so funny and so good and i would highly recommend it to anyone who wants to see it but i'm going to get back into reading because i'm eating it up kaz is insane i absolutely adore him already and i cannot wait to get reading so i'm gonna read for probably a couple hours and i'll give you guys an update then hey guys it has been like two hours it's almost 11 20 at night and i am i don't know what chapter i'm at but i think i'm like maybe 20 25 percent of the way through the book i'm loving it eating up every single crumb that this book has to offer we were just <laughs> introduced to matthias quite the introduction there i am loving it so so much i honestly don't know what more to say than that i really feel for nina because really it's not really her fault when it comes down to it but I do think I'm going to continue reading right now, but with it being this late, I don't think I'm going to end up probably checking in later than now. So I wanted to update you guys and obviously close out this video because this is the last day for this vlog. So far, I'm actually like really proud of myself for sticking entirely to my TBR for this month. Like, I read The Hating Game and now I'm reading this. And granted, it is only October 2nd, but I'm usually like absolute dog sh when it comes to sticking to my TBR. So I'm really proud of myself. Um, if you would like to continue to follow me while I read this series, make sure to check out the reading vlog that comes out after this one. That being said, I'm going to get back to reading and close out this video thank you guys so much if you watched this entire thing i think this is my first reading vlog in a long long time um and it was a very good reading week if i do say so myself if you did enjoy please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe all of my social media is linked down below for you guys. I hope you all are having an absolutely exceptional morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.